the number of words that we have been doing in the stories that we have read, but like the story of Ojiro and the giant, why are we planting so many trees and the likes? So what we are going to do is that we are going to take all those words and break them according to the number of phonemes, the key graphemes, and what are the key words, and also as to whether is it a graph, a digraph, or a trigraph. So here I'm going to write the words and the number of the the number of the phoneme that you hear when you sound out the words. And what are the key words? The key graphing and our space here is not enough as to whether is it the key graphing is a graph, a digraph, a trigraph. Oh, a quad graph. So now, I know that many of you, when are coming to school, are using a different mode of transport. So I want all of us to look at the word transport as our example. So in this word transport, how many phonemes do you hear when you sound it out? The word transport. Katrina? Eight. Eight. What are those? Good. That's eight. There are eight phonemes. There are eight phonemes. That's the t, r, a, n, s, o, and and then, what are the key words for the tap? Tap. Then you raise up your hands and give me the answer. That's tap. Doris. Ray. The r for ray. A for a. A rose. Banana, yes. A for banana. N for Moses, net. For for Mamsi, son. Son, why not city? Why not city? Why sun, not city? <coughs> Katrina? Because S. Yes, because here, this is the letter S. And in city, we don't write city with the letter S, but with the letter C. That's sun. And then for Martha? Panda. Bongani? Frog. Frog. Yes, that's all for fork and for tin. For Marcos? Tap. That's that for tap. And then here our key grapheme is. That is our 
key graphing. Is it a graph, a digraph, a trigraph, or a quad graph? It's a graph. Why do we say it's a graph? Yes, because it's one letter, which is letter T, it makes one sound, which is the T sound. Therefore, it is our graph. And when I'm looking in this class, you are 18 in number, ne? So I want us to look at the number 18 and break it according to these phonemes and the keywords, the key graphing, and the, the graph. 18. How many phonemes do you hear in the word 18? How many phonemes? Four. Four. What are those? A. Correct. That's four. There are four phonemes. That's the A, A, T, E, N. That's four. Correct. We have got four phonemes in the word 18. Now, let's look at the key weights. Let's start with the A. I want the key weight for A. Moses? Catch all of the letter of the book. Yes, this is a catch all. So, how do we indicate that this is a catch all? Who can come and, indi and indicate for us here that this is a catch-all? Solomon? <coughs> Good. This is a catch-all. Why? Because when you look at the A box, at the A box here, like in baby and in tape, we don't have that A. Anish, do we have that kind of an A? Do we have it? No, yes, we don't have, so we call it a catch all. That's A. And then for tap. E for. E for E for M Margaret eh? Ink. No, that's not E for ink. Do we spell ink like double E? No, that's not E for ink. Marcos? For tree. That's E for tree and Margaret. And the N for, the N for, Maria Mashiru, net. The N for net. And then what is our key graphem? What is our key graphem in the word eight? What is the key graphem? A, that's A. That's A. So now, this A, is it a graph, a digraph, or a trigraph? <coughs> is it a graph? Rose. Is a quad graph, yes. Why do you say it's a quad graph? Four letters, yes. That's one, two, three, four. Four letters. These are the four letters making one sound, which is there. A sound. Anish is a quad graph. Yes, is a quad. Now I want us to look at the other word, which is country. Country. How many uh, phonemes do you hear on the word country? You must sound it out, because if you don't sound it out, you won't be able to hear the number of phonemes. So you have to sound it out for yourself, so that you can get the correct number of phonemes. Sound it out, Anna, sound it out. Country. Country. Margaret? Six. Six. What are those? Uh. Yes, good. That's six. That's six. That's k, a, n, t, 
R, E, yes. That's six. And then what are the key words? The key words are for? Head, yes. R for? Raise up your hand and give me the answer. House, yes. This is the R that we use in house. That's the R for house. And then for? Then for? Net, yes. Then for net. That for? 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 Maria Machero? Tap, yes. R for? R for? Dinner? Why not wrist? R, wrist. R. Rain, wrist. Why not the R for wrist? Yes, because country, the spelling here, the spelling here, we use one R, whereas in wrist we use W and R. But they both make the same sound. So this is the R for rain, not for wrist. And then E for pony, yes. E for pony. And then our key grapheme is k. Anish. K is our key grapheme. Is it a graph, a digraph? Bongani? Graph. It's a graph, yes. Why do you say it's a graph? Yes, because it's one letter, which is letter C, it makes the sound k. Therefore, it is a graph. So can any one of you uh, give us a word so that we try and break that word according to the... Moses? Sheep. Sheep. Which sheep? Sheep of an animal or sheep of a boat? Which one? For an animal. For an animal. Then if it's sheep for an animal, 